Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Foot birthday is here today in FIBA 22 Ultimate Team. I want to take a look at this loading screen, which confirms the leaked team for Foot Birthday Team 1 that we have. I'll show you that here in a second. The cards that we expect today. We'll talk about the SBC's objectives and the market because this is going to be a big big day for the market. We have prices dropping on the market right now because people are seeing the leaked cards and they're of course the full birthday hype is always real and it seems like EA is going to do a pretty good job of giving us hype cards and a lot of SBCs during this promo, which is always a theme of the foot birthday promo. So we expect that again this year, uh, the daily player SBCs or almost daily SBCs sounds like that's going to be happening as a part of this promo too. And of course, we have the Icon Moments release that's going to be happening tomorrow. And EA put those cards on the loading screen as well. They didn't tease us or they didn't, you know, make it any sort of mystery what cards were going to be released tomorrow for Icon Moments. They just went out and put them straight on the loading screen. So that's why you see R9, Zidane, and Pushkas uh, here as well because that's going to be on Saturday. So we'll talk about that a little bit more tomorrow. But still, I think that this loading screen here and all of the stuff that's happening today for Foot Birthday is going to be a very interesting day on the market. So we're going to spend a lot of time talking about that. But first, if you are hyped for foot birthday, make sure to hit a thumbs up on the video and subscribe if you're new. Let's look at this team. Let's look at the cards that we are expecting to get today. This is the squad leaked by Foot Sheriff himself. These are the players that we should be seeing in packs today. Now, he mentioned that there is going to be a mini release on Sunday as well. So this might not be the exact team. Some of these cards could be in the mini release. There could be some more cards coming as well later on this weekend. But there's some big names in here and some big time skill move and weak foot boosts as well. This Suarez and Cruz and Allen have gotten, and Nuno Mens, right? These are probably the most four popular players. Grealish and Odegaard are in there as well. Like that Nuno Mens card is going to be very, very sought after today. PSG links, green link to Renato Silva as well with the Portuguese and Ligue 1 links. And Allen, basically another French center defensive mid, challenging Conte for that best spot in the league. And then this Tony Cruz card is going to be five star five star. Again, that's the whole basis of this promo, right? They're either going to give a card a five star weak foot or a five star skill move boost. So for a player like Odegaard, who already has five star skill moves, he's going to get a five star weak foot boost. I think there's like four of these cards that are five star, five star, um, because, you know, Cruz already has the five star weak foot. So he's going to get five star skills. Uh, you know, you have Odegaard in there as well. Suarez is going to have five star skills today. I think Allen might have a weak foot. I'm not entirely sure. Nuno Mendes is going to have five-star skills. So there's going to be so many great cards released throughout this promo. And we'll talk about more of the SBC leaks uh, for today as well. But this is the team of cards that we will see in packs, right? Again, you look at this and you're like, those are some pretty dope cards, right? Pretty dope cards. It is rumored that Team 2 is going to end up having those players like Dybala, Firmino, and uh, there was one more pretty hype one that we looked at yesterday uh, that was that is not involved in this team. But So it seems like Team 2 might have some really hype cards in it as well, but this is a solid promo team. It really is. Again, the, the cards that are in here with the 5-star weak foot and 5-star skill move uh, items, that'll be pretty dope. Tammy Abraham is the objective card is what we're expecting today. He's going to be 5-star, five 5-star. Five He's going to have 5-star skills and the five-star weak foot. That's going to be our objective card that we are evidently getting today. We're also getting a center defensive mid or center mid SBC for today, and it's Bruno G, as we like to call him. New transfer to Newcastle. This is one of the first leaks that we saw. He is evidently our SBC today, but the stats for him aren't that great is what the leaks are saying as well. So there might be a little bit less hype in this department for Bruno G and, and honestly for Tammy Abraham as well because those two cards don't look that great. But one thing that we do know about this promo is that there are going to be um, player SBCs. As you can see here, some of them are leaked, right? Mkhitaryan is going to be, I think, the FIFA 16 player. He's going to be five-star, five-star. These are going to be coming out throughout uh, the weekend and through this next week. Fredericks is going to be the FIFA 15 themed card. He's going to have a five-star weak foot, and those are going to be the stats for his item. You've got an Indomble that's going to be coming out for the FIFA 18 related card. And you're like, Nate, what does this mean if they're related to certain FIFAs? It's just like last year, right? Last year, we had this themed SBCs for a player that was like really OP, really hype, you know, like during uh, the, the the past or that that year of FIFA, right? Like foot 10, foot 11, foot 12. So they're doing that sort of thing again with the themed SBCs. Maybe they'll give us some sort of like timeline like they did last year uh, inside of the game 
for when they do release uh, some of these cards as well. But Indomitable is a pretty big one. And um, yeah, so that's that's the full team, right? That's the cards that we are expecting today. It's actually, I know it's very similar to all the promos that we've had in the past couple months. We know all the promo cards before they're actually dropped. It was actually the exact same last year. In FIFA 21 team um, foot birthday, the team one of foot birthday was leaked entirely before the actual promo drop. So uh, one other thing that we might expect today is a foot birthday gift reward. This is something they did last year as well, is they just gave everybody free packs um, for how many times you had logged in to the game. Uh, they messed it up last year and they gave some people rare mega packs when they were supposed to get ultimate packs. So if you log into FIFA every so often, you'll get a free pack. Or if you log in probably every day, like a lot of us do, or most days, you'll probably be getting an ultimate pack, which is dope. Um, to see that I, hopefully that continues again. It's not, you know, confirmed or anything, but uh, we would expect that, right? It's, it's a birthday promo. It's about gifts, you know? So we'll see if they do that again. Now, speaking of gifts, EA is gifting us once again with um, a swaps design, which is kind of funny. It's got the birthday cake up there with the swaps around it. That's kind of cool. But this is the card design that was just added to the code tonight for foot birthday swaps. So just like winter wild cards, just like future stars, there's going to be objectives, SBCs, and uh, probably a pack in the store to complete that will give us these objective cards that we will turn in for objective rewards. Now, we don't know any of the rewards yet. Like if you remember for the Foot Future Stars um, swaps program, we knew all of the rewards way ahead of time. So the fact that we don't have any leaks about those rewards just yet is kind of interesting. We'll probably see some of those today. If that does start today, uh, you'll probably see some leaks. I don't know. It's not confirmed. It's just all we know is we have a swaps token. It might not actually be starting just yet. We will have to see about that. Probably get some more information from EA themselves today. Now, also, we have a new pack that's been added to the code, the 87 plus star players pack, which guarantees six rare golds, one 87 plus, and a player pick between two foot birthday players on loan. And it's very similar to like the 85 and the 86 plus star packs uh, that have been released inside of lightning rounds, you know, in like during went to wild cards during team of the year, we had those insane lightning round packs that were released as promo items. Now, what's going to be very interesting to see today, and this is where we're going to start transitioning and talk about the market, because the market today is going to be a huge point of interest for me. And I'm just very curious to see how it reacts, because there's a lot that is going to be going on today on this game. There's already a lot that's happened. A lot of cards have dropped in price yesterday, the past two days because of this promo. Pack supply today is going to be a huge aspect of the foot birthday cards on the market on SBC fodder and just what happens to the market in general because the market this last week was so high, right? It was so high because there was really no cards in packs. The silver promo didn't appeal to everybody. So it was kind of a quiet week and that just caused a lot of cards on the market to go up in price as people weren't doing that many SBCs. And, you know, people were just going out and buying cards with the coins that they had. And, and you know, that's why stuff on the market kind of went up, got rare, and that sort of thing. When we don't have a lot of content, that is what happens. Now, today, since we didn't have content the last week and there wasn't anything in packs, so many people have saved up packs way more than me, right? I have nine packs. It's basically my division rivals rewards and some random packs here or there. And the 85 plus times three there's going to be people with like 20, 30, 40 saved packs. Let me know down in the comments how many you have saved. But we were talking about it on the Twitch live stream yesterday. Link down below in the description as well while you're down there. Um, and a lot of people have saved packs. And it just happens. That's what happens when you have a week off with no promo. People know there's no special cards in packs. So they wait. And you're going to have all those people, especially some of you guys, right? I don't blame you. This is what you do, right? When new cards come into packs, you've been saving stuff for them. I got an icon swap token to do my 83 times 25 pack at some point. People are going to be opening those packs today. And there's going to be a ton of supply in the first hour on this game for the whole entire market that is in packs. I mean, in forms, the foot birthday cards. Um, I don't remember what percent they usually are. I think last year from the 100 K packs, it was like four or 5% for foot birthdays. So this year, you know, that would be a pretty low number. So we'll have to see what it ends up being for the foot birthday cards today, depending on how many are in packs as well. But the, the moral of the story is there's going to be so much supply in that first hour, especially with saved up packs with lightning rounds and all of that stuff being opened in that first hour, you're going to see foot birthday cards flying onto the market. There's going to be tons of pages of supply. I would expect to see that. And their prices might get really low 
early on, right? You think about a guy like Suarez or Tony Cruz, who's going to be very hyped as people want to go and try out his brand new version that's going to have plus 31 pace and five star skill moves on the card, right? There's going to be a lot of people that will want to try that item out. Um, so you're going to have to watch those cards for maybe some really low prices the first hour. But then again, if you buy those cards in the first hour, if EA is adding that new 87 plus pack code into the game, you'd expect them to use it. And it might be one of those promos where we have lightning rounds like around the clock. Remember during winter wild cards and team of the year where we would have uh, the five, six, seven, and sorry, six, seven, eight, and 9 p.m. UK lightning rounds, right? The first, th first three to four hours, we'd have 50K, 100K, and 125K packs. And then after that, they would do like the 85 plus star pack or the 86 plus star pack, or they would run another set of a 100K lightning rounds. I just wonder if this promo is gonna be another one where they do that. So that might mess with just the supply on the market today in general. Um, so it's gonna be a very interesting day. There's gonna be a lot of coins that come onto the market though. So for some of your out of packs cards, I mean, we've already seen prices dropping on the market right now. And I know you're talking about like, Nate, what about SBC fodder? What do I do with that? Today's a huge day for SBC fodder as well. And I'll talk about that here in a second. But for out of packs cards, like, like take a look at this Kalkare, right? This guy was 230,000 coins on Wednesday. He's 200,000 flat at the moment. He's down 30K from where he was. Ginola was down so low earlier. He bounced back a little bit. But look at all this panic that we had yesterday. Ginola was 613. He went all the way down to 550 and is now back up to 570. These cards are probably going to drop more today um, with people, again, selling items as we head towards the content drop. You're going to see, in my opinion, more cards dropping on the market. Out of packs cards in packs cards, basically everything is probably going to start to creep slowly downwards into the content today because it's foot birthday, right? It's a big promo, lots of SBCs, lots of content and lots of packs and people are going to be a little afraid of that. So that's kind of what you can expect on the market today on Friday to start things off. But where I would keep watch is keep an eye on road to the finals. Keep an eye on all of these out of pack specials that are still very popular, very meta, and that a lot of people like to use, especially these road to the final cards that have games this next week where upgrade potential is on the line, right? Tellez is down like 20,000 coins, right? Upgrade potential there. Uh, Urente, right? The opponent in the Champions League for Tellez and United, right? He's down like 30,000 coins upgrade potential is still there for that card. Toliso and Bayern play on Tuesday, and this guy's down 15,000 coins. Keep an eye on that, right? So these cards, future stars, uh, team of the year honorable mentions are just so rare on this game, and that makes them incredible to trade with and to flip with. Keep an eye on a guy like Salah, who yesterday was like 1.15 mil. Yeah, 1.15 mil on Wednesday, and right now he's 1.04. I even think he was down lower than that. He was down to 1.046, rebounded back to 113, and now he's still kind of going back down again. So just keep an eye on the out-of-packs market as there will be bounce backs in some places because these cards are not in packs and people will be getting some coins. And especially if the content, if it is, you know, this Tammy Abraham objective and the Bruno Guillermich SBC, that's not that crazy of content, right? So people might turn back to the market to go and buy some cards back. Now let's talk about fodder because the other part of this is you're like, Nate, we just talked about there's going to be a lot of SBCs and we talked about it yesterday too, where foot birthday is a promo where they always release a lot of, you know, party bags, a lot of the pack SBCs, a gamble pack SBC, right? Since that's just kind of part of the foot birthday promo. Now, a lot of this fodder has dropped off. It was crazy high earlier this week, right? Sterling was 40,000 coins. A lot of these cards on Tuesday were like 42, 43,000 coins a piece. Now they're back down 32K. What you're going to see today on Friday is these cards, number one, are going to be extremely, extremely, um, there's going to be a lot of people that want to invest in these. SBC Fodder is going to be one of the most popular places for people to spend their coins on the market today because they've seen it go down. They know there's a lot of SBCs that are coming. They're going to want to get in and there's going to be a lot of supply with that. So one thing I will tell you is watch these card prices today heading into the content drop nobody's going to want to buy before all the packs are released yes you're like nate wouldn't you want to wait until the supply comes well so many people are going to wait until that supply comes that the competition during that time is going to be crazy so unless ea drops a preview pack of some sort i really don't think that this fodder is going to tank like 49k for ter Stegen. he might go down to like 47k leading into the content today or like you know some smaller drops on this sbc fodder 
but I don't think you're going to see like 88 rated go to 24,000 coins, right? That's just, we're past that point of the year. If you see these guys at like 28, 27,000 coins, you get the green light from me. That's a PlayStation price, by the way, maybe on Xbox, which it looks like on Xbox, they're a little bit cheaper. Maybe, you know, right now he doesn't look too bad at 28K, maybe like 25 or 26 if you can. So watch your bids, watch your snipes on all of your SBC fodder, right? 84s all the way up to 91s. I would keep an eye out if you want to stock some in your club. Because again, it looks like there's going to be a lot of SBCs throughout this promo as there almost always is during foot birthday. So just kind of keep that in mind that this weekend in general, it's going to be a good time to stock some of the stuff. Um, but of course, maybe even today, you know, a lot of people are going to be looking into doing this as soon as possible. And, you know, a guy like Tony Cruz, of course, he's going out of packs. So people are already investing in this 34,000 coins are buying up this card where a lot of the other 88s um, are down. Same thing with Suarez as well. So we have two 88 rated cards that are not going to be in packs this week. That's very interesting. So maybe that does increase sort of the SBC value here. Maybe 88s are going to be a very hot place to invest because there's going to be two of them that will be out of packs and uh, makes them more expensive, of course, and less supply since they're out of packs. But that could make some of the other 88s um, go up higher. Maybe we'll have to see. But there's, there's going to be fodder rises in the next week or two weeks. So this weekend could be another great time to get in and to buy some of those cards. That's the main point. Uh, as you can see, 11 mil in the top left. I am pretty liquid. I still have some road to the finals though, right? I still have some Gareth Bales that I bought at 200,000 coins. And realistically, I thought this guy was not going to go back down to below 200,000 coins, at least before their game. They're expected to lose, right? Uh, they're expected to probably lose, even though they do have a decent shot um, against Real Madrid. This bail right now is like, sorry, not against Real Madrid, but at home against PSG, they, they, they have a shot, right? It's a 1-0 game. If you say they don't have a shot, I mean, that's just not taking everything into consideration. It's football, right? Anything can happen. It's Champions League. Who knows? Maybe we'll have another Gareth Bale bicycle kick. Anyways, um, this guy's down like what? He was 230. He's now down to 219. I'm just holding on to some of my road to the finals. I know some of you guys are, are as well. If you take a look at the cards and where they're at price-wise, a lot of these cards are still up. Like, you know, if you have Riyad Mahrez and you're like, Nate, what do I do with this card? Because yes, he could get upgraded. I mean, if you bought Mahrez where he was at his lowest point before he went out of packs at like 860 or 870,000 coins, there's no need to sell right now. People know that these guys have games in the coming days. These are these are holds for me. And if that's why if you see panic selling on some of these dudes today, this could be a great opportunity to get involved because um, there's going to be people, especially after this weekend, that start looking at these cards again and saying, all right, we've got games. These cards are rare. Tell us links to the new Allen that's going to be coming out, of course, Brazilian, Prem. So just keep an eye on that sort of stuff today. Watch for your panic selling in those sort of areas. Um, and that's going to be a place where a lot of people will be looking to invest as well if they see drops. So you may not see crazy drops in price, but that's just kind of something to keep an eye on. And as well with the icons, right? Again, we see the icon moments that are on the front screen. So you've seen uh, some of these icons have continually dropped off in the past day or two as well as people again prepare for the best version of these icons to be released uh, on this game. And I have not looked at icons in a, in a long time. I need to learn some of these prices really soon because it's going to get interesting once again with a lot of these icons for babies, mids, primes, with the moments coming out. There's going to be a whole new level of hype with some of these cards. Now, I don't think, and we'll talk about this a little bit more tomorrow, I don't think that they're releasing all of the icon moments at once. Um, because if you think about it, based on the loading screen, you only see Zidane, Puskas, and R9. If they were really going to release all the icons, you'd think they might put a guy like Ronaldinho on there. Uh, or maybe there's a couple other higher tier icons than Puskas is what I'm trying to get at here. So I feel like they might not release all of them. I think it might just be what they've done in previous years and kind of release them in batches, right? Maybe they release 30 at a time, 30 at a time, and then 30 more at a time. And then boom, you have the whole set of the icon moments in like a three weeks time span. That's just kind of something to keep an eye out for. If any of you are really excited for this, which this is really dope. And again, we'll talk more about it tomorrow, but uh, that's not today. So just kind of be wary of that. Icons are probably going to stay. There'll be some fluctuations, of course, because icons are still, some people like to use them, but the foot birthday cards are really going to steal the hype today. And there are going to be a lot of fluctuations on them. That's one thing that I'll tell you too, is uh, definitely keep an eye out for cards like Suarez, for Allen, for Nuno Menz, right? Just the, the fact that this guy is going to have a PSG left back, we're going to have a special PSG left back card 
And this guy is probably going to look pretty good in game. He's going to have five star skills, four star weak foot. He's going to get a pretty big stamina, strength, aggression boost. That's going to help his card out a lot. He's going to be pacey, 95 pace. It's going to be pretty good. So the cards that they released today should be a lot of fun. The content, it should, it should feel like there's a lot of content today as a part of the foot birthday promo, which I am very excited for. So it's going to be a crazy day on the market as well. A lot of people are going to look to buy. A lot of fluctuations are going to happen. So again, if you want to stick involved and stay involved with all that, make sure you check the link down below in the description for the Twitch link. We'll be live streaming, watching all this unfold and making some moves on the market, opening some packs and just having a lot of fun in general. So make sure you check that out down below in the description. But again, if you did enjoy this video, smash the thumbs up on it. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Happy Friday. Happy foot birthday. It's been Nate the Foot Account and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.